Point number 33. Adam التمنن فأنت عتال. What does that mean? Don't try to show her that you are doing her a favor to bring food at home or to bring certain things at home. Don't show that you are doing them a favor and you know, I am doing this and I'm doing that. Why? Because in reality, me and you, we are only the couriers. We carry the rizq. We are not the providers. We carry the sustenance. Whatever Allah provides your family, you are not the provider. Allah is the provider. You are the courier. And to think that way, it protects the love. To avoid showing that I'm doing your favor, it protects the love. Not only that, that's one of the way that you are praising Allah, Ya Rabbi, I'm only a courier. I'm only a courier to the family. And it is a way also of being humble. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will raise you in her heart and will protect the love guaranteed. 43, 40 or 34, point 34, ash Satan is your enemy. Your wife is not your enemy. Rest assured, Satan is the enemy. And this is here where you would realize that sometimes people, husband and wife, they are talking somehow, a fight breaks. Why? Because you are one, your wife is two, the shaitan is number three. Take the shaitan as an enemy. Most of us will know that if I ask you, do you like the shaitan? No, I don't like the shaitan. That's not enough to hate the shaitan. We have to take the shaitan as an enemy. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala declared that we have, that the shaitan is our enemy. فَاتَّخَذُوهُ adua. Consider him, deal with him, be aware of him as an enemy. So your wife is not the enemy. The shaitan loves loves divorce, loves to separate between a husband and a wife, will come every day and will sit his, let's suppose, an office, will ask the shayateen, the devils, what have you done? Some would say, I have made this person steal. Okay, take this. What have you done? I have made this person drink. Okay, take this. What have you done? I have made this person do so and so. Okay, take this. What have you done? One of the devils would say, I have made this man divorce his wife. The shaitan will call him and will say, you come here and will get crowned, will put a crown on him. So therefore, rest assured, your wife is not your enemy. The shaitan is an enemy. Take him as an enemy. Deal with him as an enemy. Rest assured that sometimes when you talk to your wife, he's the one who tries to throw words in your mouth to fire at her or words in her mouth to fire at you. Be aware of the shaitan. Na'udhu billah min. 35. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam taught us that when you take the food and you put it into her mouth, into your wife's mouth, this is a blessing. You will get blessing, you get rewarded. Not only that, it's not going to the stomach, it's going to the heart. It increases the love, it increases the mercy. One of the ways to keep the love of your wife guaranteed. 36. Some of us will consider his wife like a precious pearl, which is a nice way to think of it and to look at it as she is a precious pearl. One of the most precious pearl will tell you, my wife is my princess. She is my precious pearl. You know, the precious pearl, you don't leave it hanging just in the floor or just lying in the floor. You know, the precious pearl, you don't leave it just for anyone to touch or to abuse. No. The most precious pearl on earth, if you ask someone and say, which one is more precious, your wife or the most precious pearl on earth? He would say, my wife. So therefore, protect your wife, protect this precious pearl from the envy of the shayateen. Shayateen al-ins wa shayateen al-jinn. The devils of the human type or the devils of the jinni type. Protect her from that type of envy. And speaking of the pearls, now we go to point 37. Show her your pearls. What does that mean? Show her your smile. 
Show her your smile. Some of us outside home, he will smile for everyone. Anyone in the street, he'll smile for them. Even a raccoon walking in the street, he will smile for the raccoon. But when it comes to home, the mouth is out of service. There is no smile. The face is so rigid like a hard bread. If he smile, he will think that's going to crack. No. Smile for your wife. It is a sadaqah. Your smile, it is like giving a charity. And it brings a beautiful positive energy into her heart. It protects the love. It increases the love. 38. At Jibal Tubna Min Al Hasa. That sometimes small spark. You leave somewhere. Come later on. You'll find the whole building on fire. Small stones or small pivot. Just adding up, adding up, adding up. Will be it will cause a big mountain or a big wall to be between you and your wife. This little problem that you, or little challenge that you really did not take care of, it becomes a problem. And that little challenge that really you ignored and you repeated that little things that she didn't like, you repeated that, it becomes a problem. And these little things, they will add up and you so suddenly find that there is walls between you and her. Don't ignore these little matters. Deal with them. Sometimes they could be a small challenges. Ignoring them could become a serious big problem. 39. Tajannab Dhiq Sadr. Rasulullah means avoid being harsh hearted and just moody Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Allah glorified him Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala honored him by saying walaw kunta faddan gharidha al-qalbi lan faddu min hawlik if you were hard harsh hearted they would have break away from you means the companions would leave you and that's a confirmation that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was not hard harsh hearted so if you happen to be one of those people, their chest is so tight and you're so moody, get rid of it. It protects your love. One of the ways to keep the love of your wife guaranteed. Forty, respect her thinking because her thinking it is a strength for you. And show that you respect her thinking. Show you appreciate her thinking. Really, sometimes you're listening to her, the way how she's thinking, or the way how she suggested something, show that you really like that suggestion. Show that you really appreciate that particular thought. Respecting her thought, it keeps the love. 41. Help her to dig in her heart. Help her to dig within to discover more skills. Because her success is your success. Help her to dig and find success within that will keep the love, it will protect the love. 42, my brothers, my sisters.